Hi Aries, thanks for joining. I'll be doing a six card spread for you for any messages coming. Okay, so we have the seven of swords, the three of cups, the ace of wands, the six of wands, the ten of pentacles and the queen of cups. Okay, so seven of swords, this is deceit, this is obstacles, this is taboo activities, this is things going on that are frowned upon. This could be you, this could be someone around you, this could be in your thoughts or be happening in your physical realm and physicality. This could be an air sign that's doing the deceiving, maybe you're coupled up with an air sign, it could be air, fire, pentacles, uh, so air, fire and earth. You do have a bit of water in these charts as well, it's only minor, maybe someone with a bit of water in their chart also. But I would advise you need to be careful and it could be regarding a, a family situation. I mean, there's a strong family dynamic here, a family or a group setting of some kind. But there's sort of deceit looking back at a third party situation here. And as much as this is a beautiful card indicating celebration and feminine energy, the Seven of Swords can really indicate that there's a third party situation in your life. This could also indicate uh, not as in the, in the sense of a cheating partner, more in the sense of perhaps as a friend coming in. Someone that's third party, perhaps a little bit more on the outside, that someone has uh, maybe not the best intentions for you. And there's, I mean, it's sort of one that has her back. See how there's one that has her back towards us and sh this person is oblivious to it. It could be you, it could be someone around you. So maybe that's just something to be weary. If this is regarding a love situation, this could indicate that someone is doing a bit of deceit. There's a bit of creeping uh I mean, this could be someone planning a surprise for you. This could be some sort of obstacle in love. I'm not seeing any other cards that would indicate something uh, major. It's more minor. This could indicate a bit of conflict. This could indicate some funds. Maybe your partner hasn't been very honest about funds and or uh, going out and drinking maybe more excessively than usual, celebrating with colleagues or with female colleagues, female friends, and maybe they're a bit hush-hush about it. So maybe that's just something to be weary of. If this is regarding a work situation, I feel as though someone might throw you under the bus uh, at work. I feel you need to stay protected. You will come out victorious and you will come out as the bigger person. However, if this does happen, I feel as though if you have several people working on the same project at work, this could indicate that the Seven of Swords, that someone doesn't have the best intentions here, or there's some sort of obstacle at work. It could be within the corporation or the company you're working for. Maybe the company is being sued. Maybe the company is partaking um, in copyright infringements. It could be things like that. There is a lot of money here, so it could be over some finance issues, perhaps. Again, nothing major, but just a bit of that that's coming through this month. So make sure you stay protected. Again, it is swords though. So this could be just in your mind. Maybe you're having uh, unpure thoughts about getting involved with someone else. Maybe you're having unpure thoughts about your colleague. You know, you don't want the best intentions for them. It could be just little things like that. But moving on, we have the Three of Cups. And this is really a beautiful card of feminine energy, sisterhood, friendship, love, going out, enjoying yourself, abundance, happiness, things to be grateful for. And this could also indicate a bit of jealousy with the Seven of Swords. Maybe someone's on the outside and jealous of what you have, the friendships you have, the relationships you have with other people, your mothers, sisters, girlfriends, cousins. But sometimes three is a crowd, so just be weary. It could just be a minor jealousy coming from one of your friends. But this really is, for the most part, you celebrating something, celebrating something new with the Ace of Wands, something that you're happy about, you're victorious over, something that might bring you a lot of money, family, uh, connectedness. And emotional fulfillment also with the Queen of Cups. So the Three of Cups really is you celebrating over something. Now let's see what you're celebrating over. Ace of Wands. This is a brand new opportunity you will hear news from. You might be this might come in the form of a job offer. This might come in the form of a proposal, a date. If it's a love situation, this might come as a um, a promotion of some kind, maybe at a job situation. Uh, a proposal for that for a house you know settling for a house maybe you've been shopping for a house with a partner but there's a brand new opportunity ace of wands hand of god here he is handing you over the news of something brand new this is fate with the hand of god this is a new opportunity if you've been applying for that job you want maybe this is the month where you will get it you will hear news from uh, these people, this corporation, you'll have cause to celebrate not only with your friends and your sisters and your girlfriends, also with your family in a group setting here. 
So Ace of Wands, brand new opportunity where you will be victorious. This could be that you've been presenting work uh, to the world. Maybe you're publishing something. Creative pursuits, businesses, social media. I mean, this could indicate a new pet even. A new pet or a new family member coming into the family. But this is lovely news. Ace of Wands, it really is. Moving on, we have the Six of Wands. Again, a beautiful victory card. Something to do with a fire sign. Maybe you'll hear from a fire sign. You might have a new fire sign coming into your life, Aries. I mean, this could be you. Maybe you, you'll meet another fire sign. But I do feel as though you're victorious. And there's a lot of people, I mean, look at him. He's victories on his beautiful gallant horse. He's got a wreath of victory. He's being noticed by everyone. He's happy. He's accomplished. If this is regarding love, maybe this is when you're, I feel as though you might meet someone when you're out and about just innocently with your girlfriends or with a family, uh, within a family setting at the markets, at the shopping center. People will notice you. It could be another fellow fire sign that comes in and uh, says hello to you. They, and there could possibly be a little bit of deceit around this fire sign because maybe he has someone he's interested in already, but then he sees you and is just so enticed by you. But with the six of six of ones in a, a in a creative pursuit, this is victory. Victory at work. This is if you're working on co on a in a commission based role, you're getting new clients, more money, incentive, bonuses, things like that. So that's coming to you. And don't stuff up with this new client. There could be a bit of obstacles to get this new client. Don't get discouraged. It might not be as easy as you thought it would be. But there's victory here at the end of it. So stick with it. Endure what you have to endure and you will get there. You'll be the Queen of Cups. Now, also with the Six of Wands, I mean, this could indicate some sort of union perhaps as well. An engagement um, party, some sort of um, academic conference, something that's being held in your honour maybe, a tribute to you. An award ceremony, an academic award ceremony, something like that. So if you are studying, I feel as though that this could be it that's coming through. You'll be noticed uh, in your academic field, maybe, you know, you're a, uh, you're a published scholar and you uh, emit some of your work out into the public. Now, moving on, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles really is a beautiful card. comes down to the one, so a new beginning. Lots of money, people, places, tangible things, physical realms, family, pets. Maybe you're buying a new pet. There's a new family member that will be introduced. Maybe you're introducing a partner to the family. But family reunions here. But I'm picking up, I feel you might meet someone in a group setting, in a family setting, a friend setting, or a group setting of some kind. You might be reunited with someone you haven't seen for quite some time ago. It could be a female, it could be a male. This will be a good reunion. They will talk to you about something, communicate something to you. They will celebrate with you. And so it's all in a positive light, Aries, which is good, strong. Uh, if this is regarding a work situation, again, as I said, this is ideas coming to you. If you do have these ideas, you need to implement them. They will be taken um, on board and you will be recognized and rewarded for these ideas. So make sure you speak up. I mean, ones is communication. So speak up about what you what it is that you want to say, what it is that you want to implement. Um, there might be obstacles and hurdles. There might be people trying to bring you down at work or gossiping about you, you know, but don't don't let that get to you. You're stronger than that, Aries. You've got you've got fire. You've got that element to keep you. You've got that drive and motivation other signs don't have. And you need to take advantage of that because it's, it's profitable. And you'll be going places. This could also indicate you traveling a lot for work, traveling to distant shores for work. Maybe work will offer you an opportunity to travel, expand, things like that. Work with more people. Um, have a team that will be di uh, directly reporting to you. That could be it also. Moving on, we have the Queen of Cups. Maybe you're dealing with a water sign here. But there's angels. Angels here. And here she is. She sits very poised and happy holding the Holy Grail. This will bring you satisfaction. It could be a new person that's coming in for you. A new fire sign, maybe fire. It could be air. I mean, if it is air, I would say just be mindful. Because air, again, as I mentioned, there could be a little bit of deceit regarding this air sign or maybe something they've done in the past where it might be hard for them to open up with or there's some sort of obstacle in relation to the air sign. But I feel if it's, another, it's a fellow fire sign or an earth sign, 
this will be quite positive for you. It will bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment, stability. There's angel blessings here. So Queen of Cups. And if this is a new opportunity at work, there's a lot of emotional fulfillment here. This could be a maternal figure. I mean, there is feminine energy around these cards. So this could be a female maternal figure around you that's bringing you a lot of emotional stability, fulfillment and happiness. This could be a boss maybe. Maybe your boss is this female baby. It's your mother, your sister, an older female friend, an aunt. But I just want to ask the priestesses what this Ace of Wands is bringing you. Priestesses, tell us what this Ace of Wands is bringing us. Beauty. Okay, beautiful. So again, people are noticing you. If you're single, if you're coupled, people are noticing you and your beauty. Your, and it's not just your uh, beauty from the outside. I mean, look, she looks absolutely wonderful playing her harp there. She's in her element. This is you being the most beautifulest when you are in your element, when you're being creative. She has all the phases of the moon here. The moon is creativity. It's lust. It's beauty. Musicality. So I feel as though if you're single, a lot of people are noticing you. You might be offered a lot of dates. As I said, it could be out when you're in a, an, an, a family setting or a group setting of some kind and someone will notice you and offer you, make you a proposition of some kind. Beauty is also within work as well. As I said, it's exhibited through your creativity, not just through your looks, Aries, but also through your creativity. If you have those ideas, you need to mention them. You need to express them to whoever you need to because they're very productive and they will beautify you in some way. They will make people see how creative you really are and there's victory here also and you will feel emotionally fulfilled aries so don't hold back this could also indicate you need to connect again with your um your music side your creative side if there's creative things you like to do this is the time uh, this just will serve as a reminder that this is the time to do this and reconnect you know if you're into music this is the time whatever it is whatever it is that resonates with you and you feel you're most in your element it will bring you to new heights. It will uh, ground you in a way also. Okay. Purity. Okay, beautiful. So purity. Out with the old, in with the new, with the pure. No more deceit, no more lies, no more obstacles. As bringing purity. The dates associated with this priestess are October 28th to November 24th. This may be when you see results of some kind. Maybe this is when all the obstacles and the hardships are finally over in these dates. Maybe something comes to light in these dates. But purity is here. Someone who's pure. Maybe this is the person that's coming into your life. Someone that's pure. Maybe you've had a dishonest, deceitful person in your life before, a partner, significant other. But now you, you are getting this pure person that's coming into your life. They may approach you, but they're very pure. They have pure intentions here for the most part. Also, purity in a job situation, purity in a spiritual sense. Really positive to get Aries. As I said, that's when you're the most pure, when you're in your element, when you're doing what it is that you love to do. But beautiful, really positive area.